Hello, welcome to Microlocity. In today's video, I just wanted to give a little update on the next diorama built. I was having trouble coming up with an idea, so I ended up coming up with a challenge which led to my idea. And the challenge was to build a diorama with nothing but what I would find in my kitchen. And the, the rules that I gave myself were that just the building materials would have to be out of the kitchen. So I can still have a plywood base, I can still use paint, I can still use things to cut with, and so just the building materials would be the, uh, the roll. Um, I guess like anything like from cereal boxes, cardboard, it could be old kitchen utensils. I wasn't really going to buy anything uh, to build this. It was just going to be stuff I find. But I thought it would be kind of fun to do. If any of you build dioramas and you would like to do the challenge, um, feel free to do so. And if you watch any other YouTubers that build dioramas, um, feel free to pass this challenge along. It would be pretty interesting and entertaining, I think, to watch um, other people do this challenge, especially ones that have a lot more ex experience than I do. I've only built this one diorama, so it'd be fun to see other people's ideas, uh, what they come up with. It's, I like to do a lot of original type things, so this was a good way to kind of uh, come up with some new fun ideas to build with. And I hope you enjoy it. The videos I think I'll post on it will be more of a talking slash building video as opposed to the other diorama videos I posted. Um, those were just sped up uh, videos with music in the background. So for this diorama, I'll do some more talking and explaining um, as I'm building. I'll probably mix some sp sped up videos as well, but um, I figured this might need a little more explaining on what I'm using and what I'm doing. Um, I haven't posted a video in a little while because I'm trying to inventory my car collection. That's what you see in front of you. I've been collecting for about 30 years, so um, when I find, say, new cars that I buy, would buy this year, and if they were like a 2008 model, they would just get thrown in the same box as the 2020 models or 2019 models. The, the ones I collected back in 2008, they're all together. So... I have ones I originally I purchased original all together and I have all the new stuff you know old new stock 2008 um, that is in a separate box so when I do videos it's kind of hard to reference stuff when everything's mixed up so I've been trying to sort everything out by year and do an inventory of what I got and that way I can put a little bit better videos together on everything that I have and I'll eventually do a video on uh, my collection from the 90s blue cards on up to basically today. Um, so that's just a little update on what I've been up to. And I hope you enjoy the future diorama video. Oh, if I haven't mentioned, uh, the theme of what I was going to build was going to be along the lines of um, Route 66. So I haven't decided if I want to do like a gas station, a diner. Um, I thought it might be fun to do a roadside attraction type thing. So that I still have to come up with my, my actual plan, but... Um, I hope you enjoy it. So that's all I have for today. And 
Hope you enjoy the future diorama videos. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.